Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, it's the middle of the month, so you know what that usually means around here. We are doing another tasting and pairing. So this month, we decided to go with whiskey. And we didn't go with just any whiskey. This month, we decided to finally tackle Uncle Nears on the channel. Now, we've talked about Uncle Nears before. If any of you remember, I gave it a 10 out of 10 score. And it's only the first of two that I've ever given a 10 out of 10 score for alcohol on this channel. Because I really liked it. And so we knew down the line we had to actually have it on the channel physically. But we didn't know how to do it. And then we came up with this idea. So this month we're doing a pairing with Uncle Nears. But unlike the other ones we've done, we, we've switched it up a bit. So instead of doing meats and cheeses, we are doing more fruits and nuts and berries. And this comes off of, I went online, I did some research, I wanted to know specifically what the tasting notes were for Uncle Nears. And in doing so, I found um, an article that actually pretty much showed the tasting notes and, you know, what to taste that would go great and complement this whiskey. So, we're going to taste each of the things here today and I'm going to describe to you, you know, how they compare, What first of all, what we're tasting and how they compare to Uncle Nears. Yeah, I'm just prepping the glasses. So, first starting from left to right, or top left to right, top right to right, we have um, bananas. Now already we're getting a little strange. Yes. I've never seen banana in a pairing. Yes. So enlighten me. Well, the the flavor notes in Uncle Nears, mm -hmm. one of the strongest flavor notes is vanilla. Mm -hmm. And they said that bananas as a fresh fruit pair well with um with the vanilla. And it actually brings out the banana and our next product actually bring out the sweetness in the whiskey. So do you want to try a piece of banana first? We're gonna, yeah, we're going to try a piece of banana and we're going to sip it. And we're going to see if we get that. Oh yeah. Instant sugar, right? Mm-hmm. On the front. I'm sorry. I gulped too fast <laughs> and it hit me all at once. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but um Yeah. You get instant sugar. That sweetness comes out. Now <clears throat> next here we have pear. Pear does the same thing. It brings out the sweetness of the whiskey. These pears are special because we actually pull these pears from our own tree in our backyard. So these pears come straight off the tree. They came from the tree, they were washed, and they were cut, and they were put on this plate or board. So, go ahead and grab yourself a piece of pear, and we're going to taste that, and then taste the whiskey. Not as much as from the bananas, but it's still there. 
what it also does too, it, it gets rid of some of that spice. But <clears throat> the real the real element that should get rid of the spice is our next product, dried cranberries. So the dried cranberries are supposed to reduce that spice that this particular whiskey provides. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. This premium whiskey has a way of hitting your throat really hard, mm -hmm. but those cranberries quell it. I'm still leaving on this pair. <laughs> Pretty good. Our last element here are pecans. Now, I switched it up a little bit. Cause I figured we had mostly sweet things going. Mm -hmm. And these pecans that I got are vanilla bourbon pecans instead of just plain old regular pecans. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I got those is because I wanted the vanilla to match up with the vanilla notes in the whiskey. Okay. Fair warning, I'm not a pecan fan. As a matter of fact, I think they're gross. But I do like these. Mm -hmm. In particular. Mm -hmm. Pecans in particular, they don't bring out the sweetness. Mm -hmm. They quell the spiciness, but they also bring out a, I think they described it as a, a peatiness, so to speak. And that's what you're tasting. So I do have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Are these the only foods that you can pair this particular whiskey with? No. I think you can pair it with anything in particular that you think works well. Whiskey, you can, with whiskey and with everything, you can pair, you can pair different foods, cheeses, meats, vegetables, fruits, depending on the tasting notes. <coughs> Um, a lot of people like to pair different types, different cuts of steak mm -hmm. with different whiskeys. Mm -hmm. I hear meatloaf is good. Uh, smoked salmon is supposed to be pretty good. I actually wanted to do smoked salmon with this, but I figured we had such a theme going that I would keep with the theme. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to think what else. Um, now that they point out smoked salmon, particularly with the Uncle Nero. Mm -mm. What about the steak? They never gave me a particular kind of steak. Mm -hmm. It was mostly with fruit. Um, they also focused on uh, cigars. I know we don't really, we don't smoke. So we'll probably never do cigar pairings. We would have to bring someone on the show. Mm -hmm. And that's a cigar aficionado mm -hmm. to do that. And that could be an interesting episode. Mm -hmm. So it's not saying we'd never do the episode. It's just that we probably wouldn't be the one smoking the cigars. But we know some people. We'll figure it out. 
I do like the different taste I've been getting depending on what I've been eating mm -hmm. with this. And I guess it's more dependent on what you want to bring out while you're tasting your whiskey. Mm -hmm. Now, I got one last question. Mm -hmm. Do you suggest these if you take your whiskey in a cocktail? No. And the reason why... So here's the thing. I don't suggest doing any tastings with a whiskey cocktail or with any kind of cocktail unless the tastings, the foods in particular, are paired to the cocktail, not just the particular liquor. And the reason why I say that is you're pairing food to one, to one element mm -hmm. And that element gets mixed in and lost with other elements in a cocktail. Okay. So all this stuff we have here wouldn't matter. Name a name a whiskey cocktail. Old fashioned whiskey sour. Okay. All of this would be lost in a whiskey sour. Because you've added other things to the whiskey, you see. Mm -hmm. So the banana, the you know, that wouldn't matter because in the cocktail you're tasting other things. Okay. And they're supposed to be complimenting each other. They don't have time to try to compliment pecans and cranberries. Okay. And there you have it. That's our tasting for this week. I know this one is probably a little shorter than the other ones that we've done. We usually do meats and cheeses, but this go around, like I said, we wanted to spin it a little different and we wanted to, you know, taste Uncle Nearest on the show. So that will do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Be sure every time you hit that bell, or when you hit that bell, so to speak, you will be informed every time we put content on the channel. As you know, we do Wednesdays and Saturdays. Also be sure to check us out on Instagram. Also be sure to check us out on Twitter. And until next time, peace.